Albion College students tell me progress is being made, but more still needs to be done. Today was about mental health and what resources are available here on campus to students as they are fighting these injustices. Violence is violence! It's day three of some Albion College students boycotting class. Students say they are fighting for racial injustices happening on campus. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, I'm Drone Tech, and today I have an update for you on that story I covered yesterday involving Albion College in Michigan. If you didn't catch that video, you definitely should later, but I'll give you a quick summary. Students discover racist graffiti in the dorms. The college tweets out support for black and brown students, implying that they know it was a white person who did it. Students then begin marching and boycotting the school over quote, safety concerns. School then finds out it was actually a black student. School then makes a generalized announcement that says nothing about the incident being a race hoax perpetrated by a black student, but instead carries on as if the incident really happened. And of course, the students continue marching and boycotting the school. That brings us to today, where you would think by now everybody would be informed that the entire thing was a hoax. But no. Even the local CBS affiliate in Michigan is giving a nod and wink to the hoaxers, reporting as if this incident was an actual white supremacist attack. In Brooklyn Tripp says at the end of March, someone wrote a racial slur on her dorm door. And after what happened to me, I went home. Safety. I didn't feel safe at Albion College. Tripp says after her incident, more hateful acts started happening on campus. Oh, Albion College administration tells me they stand against racism, hatred, and injustice. They say this week, a student in one of the incidences was identified as a student of color and they were removed from campus. T. White, our movement is not anything of that nature. We are anti-ism. Our goal is to remove hatred. After protesting on Monday, boycott organizer Jason Sawyer says another racist incident was reported on campus in which someone wrote graffiti referencing standing with the KKK. It's all happening during midterm week when students say they can't focus on school when they are fighting injustices. I'm tired of having to do these things. I wish I could just get up like a regular kid, go to class, come home, do homework, but that's just not my reality. Today they are calling for more transparency, safety measures in place, and a better relationship with campus police. Students say they are asking administration for a wellness day tomorrow so they can process everything that's been happening here on campus. What the hell was that? <laughs> this is legitimately wearing my sanity down. First off, what's with this fake reporter's cadence? She sounds like they use text-to-speech for her lines. My name is Samantha Morris. I'm the editor of an internet news magazine exploring news most media shy away from. And why is she wearing a mask all alone outside? Anyway, notice how she doesn't even mention the fact that it was a black student until near the end of the propaganda piece. It should have been the first thing she said. Even in her written article, this fact is buried in the 11th paragraph. Again, why wasn't it in the headline? During the segment, they mention all these other similar incidents without even once suggesting that perhaps they were all likely done by the same person or others with the same goal. After all, if there were really all these racist monsters lurking around the school, the black students wouldn't need to fake it, right? I mean, it stands to reason that all those other incidents were hoaxes as well. And at this point, I'm done calling them hoaxes because they're more like false flag attacks, using the fear and the paranoia created by the false flag attacks to push extreme agendas that otherwise wouldn't be possible. It's basically terrorism. I mean, think about it. What about all those white students who will now always be viewed suspiciously by the others? But instead of confronting the reality that it was all a fraud, the college and the media doubled down on the lie. Can't let a good crisis go to waste, right? My prediction is that the student stays suspended until the story blows over. Then they'll justify her return by claiming that the student was bringing attention to racial injustice or something equally mind-numbing. You can already see that's their plan with these marches, which were probably the goal of these false flags in the first place. That's all I have for this one. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well, and I'll see you all next time.